Hi guys, forwards. Hizuka as a girl. I'll show you my process after the intro. Okay, so I already went ahead and did the sketch and line art and I also went ahead and chose all the markers that I'll be using for this piece because I really want to make this piece so awesome and so pretty. So um, this character is from one of my favorite series or anime of all time. It is called Hunter Times Hunter and this character is called Hizuka. Well, he is a dude, but I decided to draw him in my style, which I only draw girls, so I am definitely going to draw Hizuka as a girl today. So, I tried my best to pick out the similar colors to his character, because I don't want to lose the telltale signs of the character, or should I say, like, the main parts of the character, and... I'm going in with seriously dramatic eye makeup because Hezuka has really serious siren eyes or really slow slouchy eyes to look very mysterious and very cheeky so yes I definitely wanted to showcase that type of eye with the makeup that I'm adding to this piece so um, now I let me just tell you a little bit about Isika. So first, I did not like Isika. His introduction in the series was so weird, so creepy. He was giving me clown vibes and he had a weird smile and I do not like clown vibes. So I really did not like the way he was. And then he was just stumbling around fighting everyone that I already liked in the series. Like basically Gong and Leorio and Kilo. He was just so creepy. But then the scene where he and Gong fought in Heaven's Arena, trust me, that solidified Hizuka as the top tier character in my book i mean he's so creepy but the way he acted and behaved i was just like okay this guy is definitely obsessed and he he's obsessed with strong fighters or fighters with the potential to become strong fighters so he immediately was just like i can't wait to break you listen i can't even do his voice but he was so creepy and cool to me well i don't know why i'm using creepy and cool in the same sentence but yeah that's just basically how i can describe his account and then throughout the entire series it was just his quest to fight the strongest character or he was just like everywhere at the wrong time and he was always saying the wrong thing at the wrong time so he really was necessary for character development in this series because without him Gong and Killer wouldn't like know how to use or know about I mean of course the other teacher was there to teach them when they were in Heaven's Arena how to use Nen but he was the one like forcing them to use Nen or find out about Nen or know more about Nen but yes Hizuka and then when he was paired with Lumi trust me they're two delusional crazy people and it was so much fun and so cool I don't know I'm just rambling on and on and on but all in all, I really like how Izuka is for the series. Not if he is here in real life, definitely lock him up. He deserves jail, but in the series, he's necessary for the series. And I like his character for the series. Um, but his demeanor is more of a cheeky type of person, or he is like clever or always mysterious and always, always mischievous, always doing something wrong, like that root kid yeah so i wanted to capture that type of demeanor in my artwork so i tried my best to add the weird smile add the really drowsy looking siren eyes um because i wanted to keep as much characteristic of the character as possible so um that was one thing that i enjoyed doing to try my best to add character to a character you know that gives them the definite ways Hezekiah was just like, listen, I'm, you can hear it in my voice, I really like Hezekiah for who he is as a character in Hunter Times Hunter. I don't like, I don't condone his behavior, but I really do like how he is. Um, but originally, I wanted to do Gojo 
um as a girl but listen he is so beautiful and i was like okay i cannot do gojo so i that's why i ended up saying okay let's just do hizuka because he's so awesome and he is as in to draw so yeah that's why i ended up doing hizuka but for gojo listen episode three for jujutsu kaisen season two was awesome okay it was awesome it was definitely you know top tier well in my opinion please don't come into the comment section and going wild and going crazy and saying it's made in my opinion it was really cool really awesome it made reason why i said it was cool and awesome any anime that let like made me want to read the manga like i cannot wait until a week for the other episode to come out definitely it's definitely very top tier for me because that that's what happened with demon slayer after the last um arc the which one the swords village arc i was like okay i have to find the manga immediately and continue reading because it was so epic i could not wait until 2024 to watch the animation i was like i have to find the manga i have to read the manga and i'm not telling you any lie i finished that manga in 37 hours okay it was just like lit i was just like I'm, and i feel so proud to know i know the ending i know everything because trust me the when what happened to nezuko i don't want to spoil it for anyone so when what happened to nezuko in that arc i was just like i have to know what happens because muzan was going crazy everything was crazy i know i'm going far away from hunter times hunter but bringing it back so um hezuka i really and truly like his creepiness and his hair is a topic of conversation for me um, I don't like the downward hair. It, he does rock the downward hair nice, but I like his original spiky, crazy looking hair. And I try to capture that hair because when he when his hair is down, he has a bang. I did not want to draw a bang because I didn't think it looks bangy. I don't know. I'm sorry. But yeah, so I wanted to give this character the downward hair as much as possible. And I'm not going to lie. All the details that I add to this really allow me to be so proud of this artwork. This I might turn this into a series, you know, rejoining my favorite anime characters in my styles. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. I really like how this turned out. This is so cool. This is the final piece. Bye